so are we going to do it based on our personal feelings, which matter, or um, is this a good pet? I feel like it would be less dangerous to do our personal feelings. We have to like negotiate where we're putting them, right? And also we could have like one or two absolute vetoes each. And then we can do retributive vetoing. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling there's not going to be the level of disagreement that our audience is hoping that we have about. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll see. Maybe. Right. I can get very excited about some breeds. Um, so Cav. Okay. The heart thing. If it wasn't for the heart thing, if we're going to do in behavior, right? Or are we just doing overall kind of. Just all of it. Looks, all behavior, of it. health. But otherwise, I, I'm going to give them an A. I think everybody should have one. I don't have strong feels. Oh, really? To all people at retirement age, they should be issued one. Yorkie. <sighs> oh, boy. Like, I... I would probably budge them up in the letter grades. Yeah. They're hilarious and full of personality and cute. Knees and house training and teeth, right? Well, and the, they're a little, the bark. bark. Just, you know, they, they bark. Russell's. So I don't actually have. Russell's Griffon. Yeah. I don't have like tons of experience with this. Oh part. my God. The, the heavens part. And. Okay, but there is there. Am I? I'm trying to like picture one of my. They're brachycephalic, you know. Oh, okay. Are they better than calves then? For behavior, they're yeah. perfect. See, they're so underrated. Like everybody should have one, and you never see them. So, are you going to take back your every single retiree gets one, get the calf, and now they're going to get a. That's true. Yeah. Every every new retiree can get a choice of a Brussels Griffon or a calf. For knees. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put them in like the C minus, I think. The orthopedic thing, you're like, fuck it. I'm like, I know. And they, they the, like, some of them are just so, now maybe, maybe this is something that is unreasonable, but the ones that are good are so good. And then everyone runs out and gets one and then they're not Die. their normal variability of the breed. And I think it's also sort of like, oh, they're so they're so big and there's so much hair and then those aren't good things necessarily. And then the people who are like, why isn't my Bernese like the Bernese that Bernese's are? And you're like, well, right. you know, like, it's not like someone who's like, well, I, I just have a random dog and it's not, not random dog. And these people have this like idea. Yeah. Yeah. There's this mis the, the problem is the mismatch. Right. Totally. Oh, uh, whippets. I think we both would put whippets oh quite God. Whippets high. That should be the top of the list. The Again. top, the, uh, the new top. The new top of the list. Why doesn't everybody have one? You know, like everybody has like doodles and shit and, and why don't they all have whippets? The aesthetics of them. They can look like aliens. Yeah. Uh, but, but oh my God, are they nice dogs. And they're surprisingly inactive. I mean, they just want to lie on the sofa. Yeah, which is nice, which is like definitely a huge bonus. Yeah. I think. For me, I would definitely pick a whippet over the other A dogs? Yeah, they're A plus plus. Yeah. Uh oh, though, Gene. Yeah. Uh oh. Whippet versus Greyhound. The aesthetic doesn't please me as much as Whippets. I don't think that Whippets are just miniature Greyhounds. They're, they, I don't think they look, they're exactly the same. No. Um, I think there's some, there's some butt ugly Greyhounds. You know, some that is very visuals. true. Yeah. And I don't know if there's any ugly whippets, but they, they are, you know, nice pets provided, you know, they don't like, you know, kill a cat or something. Yeah. So I think that is the, the predatory stuff. Yeah. Is. I think this is definitely, I think one of the breeds that sort of underappreciated. I have a dog who's a greyhound cross and I cannot get over how absolutely fascinating and cool it is to watch her run and her body is just going. Yeah. But she is also extremely predatory. Like she catches birds out of the sky. And yeah, then, yeah. She she likes running. She'll catch something and then she'll run around with it for a while with like a feather sticking out of her mouth. Oh, yeah, that can be upsetting. So the next one is Labrador Retriever. 
you know, there's Labradors and there's Labradors, you know, like a, there's a, like a good one. And then there's the, the, the nightmare one. I think they're semi overrated. Like I, I certainly like them. Legmatic, well-built, slightly overweight English bred lab. Once it's like at age two or three. Yeah. It's great. They're either kind of a little bit boring yeah. easy, or they're, they're, they're hard, but in uninteresting ways. We're actually being quite a bit more complimentary than I thought we'd be. Here's one, pit. Pit bull type dogs. I think they're a little overrated. Um, you know, I, I get it. I mean, I get the, you know, gregariousness and the bounce back and all that stuff, you know, um, but the orthopedics sometimes can be wacky. The skin can sometimes be skin wacky. Stuff. The skin you know, stuff. Is the, yeah, the skin and stuff. And then the jumpy mothy. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I think yeah. if, if I were to, I, I would like have two opinions if I were talking to other dog professionals or if I was talking to the public, because the public is like, oh my God, they're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> they bite, like they, like, they eat bad. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I'm looking at actually all of our B minus C plus dogs. Oh, we have a lot of B minus. Greyhound Lab and Pit. Oh, and yeah. I think these are all dogs, which I really enjoy when my friends have. Yeah. But I would never pick for myself. So I would no. like. No, and we don't want to issue them to the elderly and stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Yes. Yes. But also, like, I do like seeing them for a few hours and, yeah. and like, getting my fill of yeah. that particular yeah. brand of dog. But the dogs that you pick for yourself uh -oh, yeah. are certainly oh, yeah. not dogs that I would pick for myself. Right. And right. I don't think you would ever be I like, I'm going to go out shopping for a timber. Yeah, no. No, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, next up, Aussie. Yep. You know, I like them. Um, it's a lot of dog, you know, uh, for most people. The whole sort of like, oh my God, they're so smart thing is way overrated. You know, similarly to Border Collies, you know, they're just like super easy to train. Um, I don't know if that, I see, I don't think easy to train and smart are the same thing. Yeah just like so motivated. Yeah, I would definitely pick, yeah. I'd pick, just based on the ones that I've had in my practice, I'd pick a Border Collie over an Aussie. Yeah. Australian bred show Border Collie with low drive. But but right now, if somebody said, you know, you have to have an Aussie, you have to have a Border Collie, I'd take you the Aussie. Really? Oh, and I think I would go in yeah, I don't know. I'd probably like run away screaming. Yeah, Border Collies have an obsequiousness that not all Aussies have. Have a what? Obsequiousness, they tend to be hyper sweet and apologetic. Yeah, I think I'm using hairdo as criteria more strongly and that's, than more. That's totally fine. <laughs> We're allowed to do that. I, if, a, I would pick the border collies and Aussies that I have met. I'd pick the border collie coat because it seems like it would take less work. <laughs> okay, so where are the Aussies going to go though? Oh, um, crikey. I'm going to put them you know, down at like C minus, you know, just like, just don't get one. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Frenchie. I love them. I get it in the breakfast phallic thing, the bowling ball aesthetic, just, it, it has me and it won't let me go. My feels are all over about them. Like I, 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 I feel like I worry. Yeah. I see, I see d like disease when I look at their little faces, Yeah. but yeah. Uh, like the vast majority of Frenchies that I met, I really liked. Yeah, so, yeah, you know. So yeah. I'd I'd put that like a B plus. Yeah. So so the Beagle. I, you know, I like them. Um, they they, they bore me a bit. They're 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 louder than they need to be. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, like. Fuck and they did, and the, and the, 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 the yeah, and how they seem to do it better in groups. Oh, and that did in a way that detracts kind of from their other cuteness, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the whole I'll smell before I'll yeah. do anything. The expression of a nice beagle is melting. We don't have any in as a straight C. Um, moving on, we have the Kazon. OK, 
Okay, this is how great they are. The hair isn't even enough to move it down to an A minus, in my opinion. You like them. I love them. Yeah. I, I go bananas for them. Yeah, yeah. They're interesting. The beauty. The size of their little snout. It's really hard to find fault. We've got German Shepherd Dog. Eyes, the hips, the endocrine. Yeah, the top line. They shed more than sled dogs. Angulation thing. They're bred to be paranoid. I know one that I li like very much. The German short haired pointer. No, I get it why people like them. I mean, it's a certain silhouette. Um, this is one of uh, a breed that I love. You do, I, huh? And that's totally my look. Timber's yeah. part German Shire Pointer, my first heart dog. So he near. has the same annoying excitability. So yeah. um, where do you want them? I would tamp them up because they're, to me, they're beautiful and interesting dogs. Ooh. Pull down because the, the level of crazy. I would totally get a German Shire Pointer. Okay, Golden. That's our next choice. You know, the cancer thing. <sighs> I think they're overrated. Please do not. And I like, yeah. I would, I have occasionally joked that I would like an all golden practice because that's how much <laughs> That's another pet peeve is people who get goldens and then don't groom them. Like, holy crap, like I want to take those people and just smack them around. You know, there's these things called scissors. The hawks have got like dreads coming out of them and stuff. Like, no, just don't do that. <laughs> just, just don't. Seven Listen, somebody said you have to have a lab or you have to have a golden. What are you going to take? Oh God, I, I would probably want to know lines at that point. They're similar. Okay, let's say you could have the perfect lab or the perfect golden, but you have to have one of them. I would probably pick a lab, I think actually. I'll, I'll take the golden then. That's yeah. a good, so they, you know. <laughs> okay, Afghan. <gasps> I know. A plus plus plus. But the, I mean, do we take any points back for the coat? Brings divergent coat. Okay. I think they're insanely awesome enough that so their coat insanely awesome. wouldn't even, their, their coat doesn't detract down from an A plus for me. I would pick a timber coat. Yeah, or, if you got one, I would fly up and groom it once a week for you. <laughs> and just like they, they deliver, you know, like, oh, like personality wise. Dates. Oh my God, they're so nice. Uh, uh oh, ciao. <gasps> See, I now, is, is Jean going to be on it? I give him an A. I mean, I, I have to give him an A because childs, I think, are underrated. I don't know if I've issued them to everybody, you know, because there's all the health and behavior stuff. They have a lot of skin stuff. And then they, the knees, you know, are... And the eyes. Bit. But even with that... <laughs> so if you just do some stuff. Yeah, they have some stuff. Okay, Shalty. I, you know... I, I, I'm partial to them. I definitely would not put this amongst my favorites, <laughs> personally. <'cause> they bark. <laughs> they're just barking. And they're kind of snarly. They bark a lot. You seem like a really pretty one. Maybe. <laughs> I might use my veto later. Yeah, okay. Oh no, I might use my veto right away. Husky. Uh, you, I, we're talking about Siberian Huskies? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, it just says, our, our little it says husky. card just says Husky. People shouldn't, I'm not sure people should get them. And I think a lot of people get them for the wrong reason. Um, people want them for a reason that makes me grind my teeth. They're like, yeah. I want my dog to be special and more natural. As though oh. that's oh. better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then, yeah, there's something more like, yeah, atavistic, and, and, and that kind of bugs me a little bit. A really nice Siberian is a breathtaking look to me. Like Huskies have the thing that I think the German Shepherd people feel about German Shepherds. Like the dogs that I think of as Huskies, racing sled dogs, right. dogs are nothing mm -hmm. like Siberians. Like I think they, they in the Venn diagram <laughs> between Siberians and, and racing sled dogs, there is shared yeah. traits. I personally would not have a Siberian. If it was like have a husky or, or be killed, I'd say kill me. <laughs> Did you say or kill me? Yeah. I'm looking at the B minuses now and these are like 
dogs that I would like to be an auntie to. Shih Tzu. <gasps> they are a small dog that has enough personality that I would bump them closer. Yeah. Like I, they have a, the kind of personality that I myself like. Yeah, I'm prepared to give them an A minus. Okay, I won't fight you on that. Okay, Pug. God, I love them. I, I have never been one to find them. You don't like it? You don't like Pug? They're not my thing. No, I don't. I didn't just know like this about you. I didn't know you didn't like Pug. Yeah, I've never found, I've never been pulled in. Uh, uh-oh, Jean, the doodle. Doodles? I'm trying to think about anything that's likable. They can have this the fear thing. Yeah. Um, and then the energy thing, which I think people don't expect. Yeah. They, they, you, they go into it thinking they're going to get something that's a right. really, really good family right. pet. That's... So what's the problem with poodles? I mean, what was wrong with poodles? There's not enough poodles. And there are tons of doodles. Oh my God. Crazy. You know, like, yeah, all these people who should have whippets and Brussels griffons and calves and poodles and stuff, they've all got doodles. Yeah. German shepherds. You know, and then they call us up and, you know, fix my doodle in German Shepherd. Most of them just look like bad poodles, to be honest. You it's know? not a, like even, I don't even really like the look of poodles. So that's not like a look for me. They're, yeah, they're yeah I see poop. Yeah, yeah and I, I like, like them better than you do. But. Poodles, I think they're, they're interesting. But. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, poodles are way more interesting than doodles. But I think um, I can't help but remember this person in my class who had a doodle and, and you know had paid quite a bit of money for this doodle and was super into the doodle idea and she's like when is my dog going to settle down because this dog was bananas and I said did you meet the parents and she's like yes I met the parents and I'm like were the parents as crazy and you could just see her going like oh because <laughs> they were and she's like this is what I signed up for oh, yeah. it was that level I used to be a little bit more on the anti-doodle side, but listening to like Jessica Heckman and the functional dog. Like hybridize some, something else. Like, um, for example, uh, a Whippet Afghan. Right, chow palms, miniaturized chows. Or figure out a way to turn off the development gene. Like Jessica Heckman should get on this. Turn off the development gene so they stay puppies. Forever. Pomskis are a genius cross. Okay, Roddy. Love. I think they're just a little bit too big. The derpitude. The possibility of them having guarding and copious shedding and the orthopedics. I feel a veto coming up, so I'm preparing my. No, I'm not. I, I don't feel as strongly. I definitely like them. I don't, I they aren't in the same. Like I'm I'm looking at our our A dogs. I would put them at like an A minus. I'm not gonna argue with that. Okay, well, what about Jack Russell's? That's what's up next. People just shouldn't have them. I will admit they are not a dog. I wouldn't pick death over them, but they are certainly not a dog for me. I would put it in the C minus range. Yes, yeah, an awful lot going on there. I'm looking at like all of the empty space in F. I think dogs like um, livestock guardian dogs we didn't talk about. <sighs> Big time, um, yeah. Other guardian type dogs. You know, Tibetan Mastiffs and Neapolitan Mastiffs like F, but just like yeah. don't. You know, yeah. Prussic Canarios, uh, yeah. uh, Cane Corsos, all those Malser type, like, what are you thinking? You know, like, I know. I don't know. I, forget I mean, we'll cut this out, but like, fuck no. Why are you getting them and why are you still cutting off their ears and their tails? Shit, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's, it's not cool, man. 